Hey guys, I want to give you guys uh, an update on my uh, BAH mini quad uh, build and this is uh, part three and I pretty much got everything together now and uh, I actually left my flipboard off because I'm going to be doing a separate video on how to actually wire this whole mess up and uh, I've been laying low here over the winter and I had to kind of re-familiarize myself <laughs> with all the wiring so I figured while it was fresh on my mind I'll uh, hit a video on that and show you guys how to uh, set one of these up for Futaba. In the meantime, uh, we left off. I just had the bottom uh, done. We had wired up the motors and speed controllers. I've gone ahead and um, I've calibrated all my uh, speed controllers. And uh, I've mounted a few things up. We've got the, uh, the top rack here. You can tell that uh, it's riding on those bobbins and this is really nice. This is going to isolate all the vibration and keep it down here and keep your video looking nice and clean. Um, I got my brand new Mobius up here and this is going to be another new product that will be uh, tested out with this uh, quad as well as uh, my Orange RX. I've never used one of these products before so uh, I'll give you my review on both of those. One thing you might notice right off the bat is uh, my choice of antenna. And typically with your VTX or video transmitter, you're using uh, the three blade clover leaves. Um, I noticed that uh, ReadyMade RC is now selling uh, a double pack of, uh, what's it called, SpiroNet uh, four blade um, 5.8 antennas. And I asked the tech guys, I said, was that a, a misprint? They said, no, Immersion has found that uh, four blades are working better as VTX antennas. So I've got myself a little uh, Hong Kong Fui special here that I broke out of the, uh, the mushroom dome. And I'm going to give this thing a try and uh, see how it does. I have it connected up to my, uh, let's see if you can see here. This is a, an Immersion RC 600 milliwatt VTX. And how I'm going to be powering my video system, I've installed a balance board uh, focus balance board power supply right here so coming off of uh, coming off the VTX uh, we this wire right here goes right over here to the balance board power supply so the balance uh, plug will plug right in there and power my entire video system and this is my uh, camera harness and I am running check this little guy out this is a uh, I bought this at ReadyMade RC, and it's a uh, Pico uh, camera. I think this was right around 50 bucks. This is the PAL version, and uh, look how tiny that thing is. Um, I don't know if you can see it in relation to like my fingernail, but uh, it is really small. Lesson learned. Uh, I've got it moved back so the frame is in front of both my uh, Mobius and my flight camera. Um, I had a parking clock uh, last season and destroyed, wiped out some equipment. So I've got it back so it's protected by the actual edge of the frame. Um, everything's going along really well. I've got a uh, little 3S battery on here. You guys want to check that out. And all I have really left to do is uh, hard mount my flipboard, get my props on and just kind of clean up some wires but uh, she's going to be ready to go here real soon and uh, hope to get you a couple of test flights on it this weekend and let you see how this little guy does really excited again this has the uh, class collapsible or foldable arms which i think is going to save a lot of problems uh, you know with collisions and stuff but uh, just all the way around man this is such a great little ship uh, you know, the props on this thing are about three bucks for a pack of four. And um, I don't think any of these parts are going to compromise in a crash. It's, it, its weight is its extremely light, even with the lipo on it. And I think this really will be the perfect uh, machine to practice your, you know, urban slalom stuff. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted. I'll get you guys some test flight videos. And I hope to have her up this weekend. Stay tuned. See ya.